What's up, everybody? I am Mike Samich for RacingDudes.com, and I am excited to kind of start out this new series specifically around betting strategies. You know, when you tune into TVG, when you look at Naira Bets, when you're on one of the NBC's big days, even when you're listening to the Magic Mike show or Blinkers Off or any of the Racing Dudes coverage, we always talk about handicapping, picking the right horse, how we got there, the angles we use. We rarely talk as much as we should about betting and specifically the strategies and, and kind of the leaks in our game that you can cover up quickly to help make you a more profitable player. When I play poker, we always sat around and watch each other play. We look for holes in each other's games and, and ways that we could quickly become better at what we do. And when I talk to horse bettors, one of the biggest leaks I consistently see is specifically around win betting versus win place and show betting. So I wanted to go back to Florida Derby Day, look at three different races and compare what it would look like if you just bet to win versus if you bet to win, place and show. So I'm gonna first pull up here uh, the Florida Derby. I thought this would be a good place to start. As you can see, White Barrio was your winner at five to two. You had a three to one charge it in second, two to one simplification in third. Uh, this is a 11 horse field, so you have pretty good field size. And when we look at the payouts here, you can see that White Barrio paid 780 to place, or 780 to win. 420 to place and 280 to show. A pretty good win, uh, win payout actually for a five to two shot. So now let's jump over to what it would look like here if you are betting win versus win place and show. So I'm gonna quickly go through this, this spreadsheet, kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. This is a $6 win bet versus a $2 win place show bet. You can see I put in the win paid out, the mutual payout here at 780, and I put 420 and 280 down here for the place and the show. I projected that we're gonna hit the winner about 30% of the time. Now in North America, generally favorites win around 33% of the time. Five to two is a little bit tougher. 30% is a darn good rate to hit at, at a five to two shot. I've got us hitting the place money at 45% of the time and show at 60%. Both of those numbers are probably high compared to what you actually could come up with on a five to two shot, but I thought they were good comparable numbers for what we're gonna look at here. So uh, when you look at the number of races, so this is a 10 race sample set you'd bet $60 total, 10 times six, and you'd win three of those six time, three of those 10 times, and that would return a total of $70.20 for a profit of $10.20 and a positive ROI of 17%. So you can see down here, we did the exact same thing. So you bet $2 to win 10 times, so you bet $20, that would return $23.40 for your three winners. And again, have that same 17% ROI. Now, when you go down to place, you'll see that you only get back $18.90 for 4.5 winners out of those 10 for a negative 5.5 ROI. In the show, it gets even worse in this scenario because you had three shorter prices. So you'll see that you only get 1680 back on average for those 10 races with a negative 16% ROI. So over a 10 race sample set, you have a negative 1.5% ROI when you are picking the winner 30% of the time and that, that horse also shows an additional 30% of the time or is in the money a total of 60% of the time. Now, the net difference here between betting a $6 win bet versus a $2 win play show bet is $11 over 10 races. Now, when you extrapolate that out, and let's just add a zero here, look at 100 races, that's $111 difference, almost 20% of your total budget that you spent here in $600 that you're getting over betting the win straight over win place and show. Now, I know what you might be saying, Mike. Okay, yeah, that's just one example. What if we hit a longer shot here? So let's take a look. Let's pull uh, pull my, my, my slides back up here. Let's take a look at the first race from Gulfstream Park here on Florida Derby Day. You got eight to one Benefactor on top. So we're gonna pretend that we are using eight to one and Benefactor here is our, our sample. Farley finished second at three to one. And in third is your 10 to one shot Papa Honor. The favorite in this race was the nine horse. There were nine horses in the field, so a decent field size again. And the nine horse was nine to five. So we got the favorite out of the money, which definitely helps the payouts here. And you'll see that when we flip over, you're getting 1820 to win, $7 to place, and $5.20 to show. So you're getting pretty good payouts here across the board on the win, the place, and the show. So now we're gonna pull up the spreadsheet here and let's look at specifically the uh, first race on Florida Derby Day here. So you can see again, we've got 1820 to win, and we're going with a 12% win rate. We're gonna go with a 12% win rate this time, uh, which is a little bit higher than, which is about what you'd need to show a positive ROI with an eight to one shot. So you can see here that with 10 races, our return would be 65, 52 on average with a 12% win rate. And that would be a plus 9% ROI. Now we go below and I doubled it up every time you're added 12% additionally for the place and for the show. So you can see here the place, we have 24% of the time, show 36% of the time. And we extrapolate out these numbers. Again, you see that 920 win percentage on the win, but minus 16% on the place, minus 6% on the show for a total of minus 4.4% overall. 
the net difference between the two is $8.16 for every 10 races. Now, again, let's extrapolate that out to 100, and you can see that difference is $81. So it's a pretty significant difference here when you're looking at, again, the, just betting the win versus betting the win, place, and show. Now, I, got, I want to do one more example because I want to put the best possible scenario for the win, place, show into play here. And we had one of those races. If we go back and we check out uh, the... 11th race here from Gulfstream's card on Saturday. The nine horse, my Philly twirl wins at 10 to one. And we've got a 99 to one bomb coming in in the second spot. Third place is the two horse beach nut trophy. And you can see the one horse, your four to five favorite runs out of the money. So a massive horse running out of the money that really helps the show prices and a 99 to one shot, which balloons the place prices here. So you can see we got 2280 to win. We've got $9 to place, 520 to show, huge payouts for a 10 to one shot in the other spots because that 80-80 that place price on the three horse and 20-80 show price on the three horse really, really balloons up the prices there. So let's flip back over to our spreadsheet here. And as you can see, we've got a 10% win rate here on a uh, on a 10 to one shot with a 22-80 payout. So we're gonna get, we're gonna hit that one every 10 times. That's a $68.40 return or 14% positive ROI. Now on the bottom with that $9 and $5.20 in the place in the show, We've got a 14% positive ROI, but still a negative ROI on the place bet, even when we're hitting a 10 to one shot 20% of the time, in either first or second. And in third, we've got a negative 22% ROI for a total difference of $12. Now, when we extrapolate that out to, a, to whoop, meant to go 100 races there, so we'll go to 100 races, you can see that the $120 difference, 20% of our bankroll difference between betting just win versus betting win, place, and show. Now, I realize betting win places show is nice because it lowers the variance. You get more winning tickets, more money back, but it really eats away at your overall profits because you are not getting the price you should for those spots, and you don't always know even what they will pay. Now, let's just do a quick experiment here to what it would actually take from a, a perspective of hitting both the place and the show places to try and get an equal ROI. So let's say we're hitting the, the place 25% of the time instead of 20, and we're hitting the show 40% of the time. We are still losing money with a 10 to one shot showing 40% of the time, placing 25% of the time compared to just betting the horse to win. This really, this really exaggerates how big of, of a leak it is if you are betting place and show consistently. So hopefully this helps you understand just how big or how much of a difference it makes if you are just betting to win versus if you're betting win, place and show. Now, that being said, again, I realize a lot of people want to just be able to cash tickets. You want to have fun with it. And that's totally fine. But if you're trying to be profitable long term, if you're trying to cover up leaks in your game, just betting win versus betting win in place or betting win place and show is a huge difference. And I'm also guilty of this sometimes. I love to bet to show. My dad and I, every time we go to the track, we do a show parlay and it's for fun. And that's a great way to go to the track and have a good time and enjoy it. But again, if you are trying to cover leaks in your game, if you're trying to be profitable long term, the best way to do that, if you're betting win, place, and show, is to just bet the win. There are certain circumstances where maybe a show bet is smart. If you see a horse that's 70 or 80 to one on the board, and the show money represents that exact same amount, and you don't think the horse has a very good shot to win, but you do think they can show, and you want to put just a little to show on it, I understand that, and I think that does work in certain circumstances. However, man, if that 99 to one shot won in the last race we looked at, and you only had a show bet, you would be kicking yourself because that huge payoff on top could have been yours if you would bet to win versus bet to show. Thank you very much for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Drop down in the comments and let me know what you else would you like me to talk about. I'm going to have pick five structures, ticket structures, talk more about uh, tournaments later. But I wanted to get this kicked off with one that I think is a huge leak in a lot of people's games. Make sure when you're out there, if you're trying to be profitable long term, look to bet just to win, not to win place and show.